Hi sir, so today I'll be going to enumerate the different types of remedial instructions, their definitions, and the examples. So there are eight types of remedial instructions. These are small group tutoring, one-on-one -on -one tutoring, private tutoring, specialist tutoring, volunteer tutoring, peer tutoring, withdrawal system, and lastly, computer-assisted interventions. So first, small group tutoring. When we say small group tutoring, it, it is remedial courses often sends remedial students off into small groups to support students who are falling behind. Often, schools bring in specialists who peel off students into small groups focus on specific interventions. So, similarly, a common teaching strategy is to allow higher achievement students to work in groups alone. This gives time for the teacher to spend. So, for example of this, you will cast the higher grade students to the lower grade students so that they can support each other and help the one with lower grades. Next, one-to-one -one tutoring. One-to-one -one tutoring has either a trained specialist, the classroom teacher, or a volunteer spend individual time with a student. While it is an effective way of supporting students, it is resource-intensive. It is often hard to find enough time and staff to have one-to-one -one interventions while also supporting the rest of the class. Some parents opt to pay private one-to-one -one tutoring to address their shortfall. So the best example of this is the parents of the students who have lower grades hire a specialist of uh, one particular subject to teach the child with lower grades. Third, private tutoring. When we say private tutoring, it, it is one of the most popular formats for remedial support. Parents who have the funds to send their children to after school tutoring may use this and option to help ensure their students keep up with their peers. So, best example of this, the parents will hire some special teacher who master different, um, different kinds of um, special subjects to teach their children so that their children can catch up with their peers. Four, specialist tutoring. So, specialist tutoring trained specialists such as in the reading recovery program can provide research-based systematic programs of support to help students reach benchmarks. Often, schools employ trained specialists to come into classrooms and take one-to-one -one or small group sessions with students in need. So, not also not also in in so not only in the house but also in the schools they usually hire specialists with with the different kinds of teaching in different subjects to teach for the lower grade students so that they can catch up and then they will achieve their higher grade. Fifth, volunteer tutoring. Schools often rely on volunteer tutors to help provide additional support to remedial students. This may take the form of parent helpers who come into the classroom to help the teacher and get to know 
the class better. A challenge of volunteer tutoring is providing sufficient training and support for the volunteers so they can effectively help students. So, also parents can do the helping in the schools just to teach their children or the children's ear so they will excel next time in the, in the subjects they are lowered. Grades 6. Peer Tutoring When we say peer tutoring, it involves one student helping another student on their work. This may take the form of older students coming into the classroom to help younger students. Or it may be getting more advanced students in the same class to peer or pair up with less advantaged students to help them learn. So peer tutoring is explored in more detail in our in our classroom because they will learn with their friends, they with their um, seniors just to help the lower grade students excel with the subjects which they have lower grades. Seven. Withdrawal system. A withdrawal system involves removing students entirely from a mainstream classroom for a short one lesson or long indefinitely time to give tailored support. The challenge of withdrawal system is that it might stigmatize students and exclude them from participation in mainstream activities. Exclusion based on special needs is highly discouraged by contemporary education scholars. So there, there are disadvantages also with this because when you, when you withdraw the, the students with others because he needs more on tutoring, so there is a tendency that the students may exclude from particip participation of activities in their class classroom or in their schools just to focus on the subjects where where they are behind and lastly computer assisted interventions so computer assisted interventions provide remedial education via via Computerized lessons. Computers have some potential benefits for students who are falling behind, including self-paced lessons for mastery of content, post and re rewind possibilities, accessibility for rural and remote students. So, however, there are some challenges of computer-assisted intervention, such as potential lack of synchronous teacher-student interaction, cost of use of technologies and internet. So, best example of this is online tutoring. So, that's all and thank you.